Hi guys, welcome to my junk journal share. So I actually did the same video for uh, IGTV, but because not like the format is different, so I had to do the video again. Um, yes, so this is my uh, Alison Wanderlang junk journal. Hopefully I have a better time flipping because it's now in the horizontal view rather than the vertical one, which drove, drove me mad. Um, and this is a uh, Alison Wanderlang junk journal, which is kind of like a spring theme, but it does go into a little bit of crazy when you get to the back end of the book. Um, in keeping with the theme of spring, I, I decided not to coffee dye any of the papers at all. And what I've did, done instead sometimes to kind of did this, I guess called call selective dyeing, where I use the uh, distress oxide um, and then I use stencils to stencil over some of these uh, images or like patterns on the background here and there. Um, the color theme, as you can tell, is a lot of like pinks, uh, blues, yellows, and uh, green. Green is actually an important contrasting color to, uh, to the pink. And we go through the side. So here, I'm not quite sure whether the camera can pick this up well. It's actually some uh, is where I did the pamphlet stitching for the book uh, with this nice pink color wax uh, linen thread, which is really nice. And here you see on the side of the paper clip is actually um, charms in which I have attached with the Tim Holtz uh, this chain thing here and uh, it has like a key, the nice little uh, padlock here and and, um, and like a, I think this is a fern um, uh, metal embellishment which I thought is really cute on the side and here is Alice in Wonderland so a lot of like the Im images, including the one on the front cover, is actually printed from Graphic Fairy. Uh, you will see me talking a little bit about her stuff here and there. Um, but I also printed a lot, a lot of images from uh, Vectoria Designs, as well as a couple um, ones from like different like sources, like TJ Designs, which no longer does um, collage um, um, printouts anymore. So I just used up what I used to have, which I've hoarded for a long time. Um, and Inside, you also see a lot of this nice pattern paper, which are 6x6 six six pads from Echo Park, which is an old collection from last year. And here, you see uh, basically a lot of the pattern paper. I use them to create um, um, collage, collage like uh, backgrounds, or I use them to create this nice photo mats for uh, pictures and journaling. I'll show you the collages later on as we go through the book. Um, to not make the video extremely unbearable and long, I'm just going to go through the book quite fast. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the description box. Um, and yeah, so I follow like this spring theme uh, uh, thingy throughout, like this, uh, like flowers and stuff. Um, and but I also kept to kind of like the color theme that was from the Echo Park paper, and that was kind of like how I tied it all in together. There's a lot of nature themed, a lot of like going to the woodland sort of thing, but kind of in spring, and not like in fall. So I'm going to go relatively fast too until I hit into like a feature page just cause that you don't really want to hear me talk like endlessly about stuff. Ah yes, I actually did have a lot of this um, Tim Holtz uh, the wallpaper from last year which I thought was really nice and went really well with the theme. So one of the uh, motifs that's here throughout is actually a lot of these flowers and, and nature and greenery. The other theme and motif that you see throughout is actually mushrooms and toadstools um, which I'll show here and there. So as you can see from this envelope, and probably one envelope before you should, might have missed, is actually a lot of my envelopes have this uh, nice um, mushroom or toadstool um, stamps, in which inside it will have places in which we put in journaling cards and stuff like that. That's more stuff for like space for journaling. And this one, the future page, which I have one of like the attendants to uh, Matt Hatter's guest um, at the party. And um, in this uh, thing, I also had like a tag that I put on in really cute a um, clock charm, and the papers are from Echo Park. And really, the idea is to try and pull the, the theme together, as you can see what I did here. OK. 
Okay, and more images and cutouts from uh, Graphic Fairy's premium website. So, if you are a junk journal that does a lot of junk journaling, um, I recommend you to actually go on to the to to take a look at what uh, the premium website has to offer. They have to offer a lot of things, um, including like how to do uh, your own um, amendments or shift into your color tones, um, how to make changes in uh, different softwares to to create your, even your own like pattern paper and elements which you can cut out. And a lot of these uh, pockets will basically have like tags or or a uh, photo mat behind for journaling and photos. Okay, not gonna go take too much time. Okay, let's take a talk a lot uh, about this um, collage uh, paper. So I use whatever that I had as well as mixing in with uh, whatever else. The match with the color theme of uh, what I was going for. And a lot of times I tend to have like a focal point. Like in this case, one of the die cuts from the ephemera pack for Aquaparks paper. And what I did was that I matted it on this really nice. Uh, green that matches this and that really helps to bring this entire card together so this is like a nice journaling card you can journal at the back or can even put a photo and um, and how I actually have all of this is that actually I pre-prepare um, a long time ago um, long time ago meaning like a few months where I actually do like large stretches of um, matching colored um, and these uh, I guess you can call them Frankenstein paper like Nick the Booksmith would like to say it, Dragon Papers, in which I cut them down into like a nice 4 by 6 or like a 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half sort of um, measurement so they can immediately use them on cards as journaling, uh, uh, backgrounds and stuff and they look really cool. And so I thought that this is uh, one of the things that you can really do with the old scraps that you don't use anymore but they fit into a particular colour theme. Would you like to have an adventure now or shall we have our tea first? So that's like a nice quote from the book. And here we have um, some of these washi uh, stickers with images which kind of like brought in and work with the theme as well with this whole like nature and stuff but there was also the, the whole clocks and gears and stuff. Going through quite fast because there isn't too much to talk about here. Here's another place for journaling. Here's another one of those collage thingies. Okay, so this is the part where we're going to do some kind of cool. So I actually went to Etsy and I found this nice paper doll cutout DIY thing. And I did my own... Uh, Paper doll by sizing it down slightly from A4 to A, the A5 sheet. Did my paper doll and then I went to the pattern papers as well as using a cardstock to create two dresses for her. So this kind of behaves like a kind of like a paper doll thing, you know, where you can actually replace her dress that fits into her body form. Now this is another of the feature pages, which I took a lot of these clocks, which I printed from Graphic Fairy and. Um, also um, did a lot of this like um, Roman numerals, uh, you see this are actually really shiny Roman numerals, I, they are actually used for clocks but I use them as uh, um, kind of like um, embellishments for this page. Now the last section really talks about like the relationship between the King and Queen of Hearts with Alice so you actually see a lot of um, the royalty here. So um, one of the things that I did was I went to Graphic Fairy's uh, um, premium site when I took uh, uh, and printed out all those images that were actually from uh, royalty uh, vintage uh, images. But I thought it really fit well with the theme. And I kind of did like this nice Queen of Hearts uh, tie in with one of the tags from uh, Echo Park. And here you see that uh, another image of the Queen. Oops. And here is like this really nice charm with like a ladybug on it, which is really cute. Um, here you also have another, uh, this um, die cuts from uh, Graphic Fairy. And I, I use that as a kind of a way to slot in a uh, tag. And the reason for a flamingo, if you are unfamiliar with the story, is that uh, in the place in which the royalty was having like their party and whatnot, and were angry they were not invited to the party, whatever, um, was that they actually played... Um, um, like a game using the head of the flamingos as bat sticks. 
and this is the King of Hearts, and you see here you have like the picture of, the, of him at the background. And so as Alice goes through all this and then uh, offends the, the the queen and the queen says off with her head, um, she defies and then um, the white rabbit blows a trumpet and this horde of cards come falling down on her and. Uh, this is when she wakes up and realizes it's all just a dream. And so at the last part of the book, I did like this nice um, uh, tie into like the whole book by using the uh, this ephemeral die card from um, Echo Park and that say the word dreams and left the, this part at the back blank so that the user can do with it whatever he or she wants. And this is my Alice in Wonderland uh, junk journal share. Uh, sorry that I haven't had a video in a long time. I'm um, just been really busy and uh, most of the time I don't even have time to film uh, videos for junk journals that I've done. So usually they're only going mostly to uh, my IGTV now. So uh, if you do still want to see some of my works, uh, please follow me on my Instagram instead. Um, I don't really come on to YouTube as often. But sometimes I realize that for a flip through it makes sense to actually do... Um, uh, a uh, YouTube video just because like the format is a bit more familiar and it kind of makes sense for flip through for books to be on the horizontal rather than the vertical format which is what uh, IGTV has so uh, thank you guys for watching uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll catch you guys next time bye